really nice Jack Mohan brings back memories. I was here many, many years of ago. Of course, of course, you were the winner of uh, Chandra's beauty pageant, and at that time, <laughs> when they were they used to do rehearsals, you used to come here. Yeah, it's lovely to have you back now. Many as, years ago, we won't uh, talk about how many. <laughs> 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 if I may rewind you back down memory lane, and how did the love for the craft start for you? And when I was 12 years old, I saw this film called Kagaj Ke Pool in India, in a small in a theater. And this fascination for cinema and, and to become a director, it, that seed was sown in my head. And you know something, at that point, at that age, most boys and girls, they want to see themselves on the screen and they want to be a movie star or actor. That I never had any such, I always wanted to be a director and nothing else. So you always wanted to be the boss, huh? I suppose. I mean, I, I think that was not the, the, at that young age, that was not really the thought. The thought was uh, to be, I was fascinated by this whole world which was created for the screen and I came to know very early that the person who actually creates that world is the director. <laughs> you know, growing up as a young kid in um, Calcutta with, uh, in a very conservative Marwari family, we were not even allowed to see films. In fact, I had sneaked away to see Gagas Ke Phool when I told my grandma that I was going to play cricket. So it was really a pipe dream. I never really knew how to go about doing it, never really thought that it will happen. But somewhere deep inside, the desire was there. And uh, I followed the path of what most uh, good boys from Indian families do. <laughs> Become a good student, uh, got admission into IIT, uh, passed the entrance examination, went to IIT Bombay to do electrical engineering to fulfill the dreams of my family. And uh, then applied to America, came to MBA. All this time, thinking deep inside my head that I want to be a director. Only when I was in IIT for five years in college, uh, in a hostel, that's when I caught up on cinema. I was 32 when I finally decided that uh, I, I can't, I have, if I have to swim, I can't be reading about swimming, I have to jump in the water. Very nice. And I decided to quit my job and took a chance. And, and that was in 1980, and this is 2008. In 28 years, and um, I'm very fortunate, I have done 31 films as a director and uh, I'm able to make a living doing what I love to do. This is your family? And that's my family, that's... Uh, that's uh, your lovely wife there. That's Chandra, my wife, and that's again when I was young. That's my brother-in-law, Ramesh, and his wife on his marriage. Uh, that's the time when we took that picture. See, you don't look very different there. I think it's the beard. It's the beard, yeah. Yeah, I think most so that's of when we had just gotten married. That's, uh, when, and how did you meet your wife? Oh, uh, arranged marriage. Arranged arrange marriage? marriage? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And this is your... This is my daughter, Smriti. Who's in this, New York now, right? She's in New York. She's a filmmaker studying at Columbia University, doing her master's in film. Wow. So, you know, that's just three of us. And she grew up in this home, your daughter? This is the home. This is her home. You know, now she's not here. I don't even feel like these are walls for me now, you know? Well, it's still very uh, lovely. You can feel you. the warmth here still. You were telling me earlier how you took the plunge and you quit your job and went into something that you dreamt of. That must have taken a lot of courage. And also, was there any hardship and perils involved with this well, initially? Of course. I mean, there are lots of, actually, for first five years when I quit my job in 1980, 79, uh, I didn't renew my contract with the university, uh, 79 fall. And the 1980s when I started my first film, Surag. At that point in time, I really didn't know. Um, and my, my wife was uh, pregnant. My daughter was born in 1980, uh, August. So uh, it was difficult because, but I felt that I would have been, if I had stayed any longer in a secure job and uh, looked for security, uh, because my daughter was being born, I would have been caught in that Rut. I would have never been able to get out mm -hmm. and uh, I was not getting any younger I was 32 at that stage and I said if I don't do it now it will never happen and I must give credit to my wife that uh, she, you know normally women uh, they don't like lack of security not having a regular paycheck coming at home sure. uh, and especially when you are about to have a family start a family but uh, but we took that chance and uh, for first five years till 85 I, I could barely make two films. Uh, I made Surag and Kamla. I remember seeing Kamla as a very young child and I still remember scenes from it. That's how impactful your film was. Well, thank you. So earlier on, Jag, we were talking about how you finally broke the mold and you made your first English film, the yeah. horror film that you were talking about. And I have to ask you, I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't ask you. Mm -hmm. Around the same time period, there was a lot of rumors, especially in India, about you doing some very, very provocative films. Yeah, you know, the thing is, uh, 
Indian media will write things or without really authenticating what it is, you know. One person will write something and then they will, everyone will pick it up without checking the veracity of ver verifying what is whether it's true or not. Unfortunately, what happened is, um, and I'm not denying the fact that I've done a lot of thrillers, uh, very legitimate genre here in England, in America. Um, but rated R. Rated R. Yeah. And, and, and you know, I mean, everybody has done it. Whether you take Michael Douglas, you know, or Sharon Stone, or you Glenn Close, or you know, uh, Angelina Jolie, all of them have done this genre. You know, uh, and there's nothing wrong with the genre. It's we are catering to an audience which is out here, which is uh, doesn't uh, at every drop of seeing a little bit of skin start shouting porn, porn. You know, it's not like that. So the the Indian media, the problem was. And I did these films for very legitimate companies. I did it for Ashok Amritraj, five films, you know, Night Eyes, which became a huge success, had five sequels. I did, uh, I was a director for Hire. I did it for Roger Corman. I did it for so many, Prism Entertainment, all these pro Mark Entertainment, all these companies which are legitimate companies here. So to call them, and I, you've been very nice and you called it provocative, which is good. But in Indian media, they started calling them that I do this kind of porn films, which I've never done. It undermines the fact that this is a there is a legitimate genre of film called erotic thriller, you know, which every major studio has done, every major actor has done, and so many major directors from Paul Verhoeven to Adrian Lyon to Zalman King to uh, uh, you know all of these people have done it and they are doing it. Uh, so to call it that is kind of in Indian media, it's a it's a thing that it's it's there's no shade of grey, you know, is it's that or is this, you know, yeah. You know. So this is where you write your scripts? Yeah, this is where the computer is. I sit here, there's my books are here, all of them. Nice. And a um, lot of film books, a lot of little, some awards and stuff, which uh, Bavandar got, some film festival things. Yeah, it's a little room, but it's nice. I like to be sort of, uh, when I close the door, I think this works here for me. You told me a little story about Aishwarya actually seeking you out to do this film. So yeah. that's wonderful, right? Yeah. Here's a difference well, that's here. That's right. That's true because Aishwarya saw uh, Bhavanda. Uh, she had an accident and she was in the uh, hospital. Her leg was hurt or something. And she was flipping channels on television and uh, uh, Bhavanda was on. And uh, what she told me later on was that uh, that image, uh, as soon as the, that film came on, uh, she was in the middle of the, it was in the middle of the, she said I couldn't change the channel after that, I just watched the rest of the film and I was very moved by it and then, uh, and it's also because of Bhavandar I got provoked because uh, Bhavandar was shown under the title Sandstorm in the London Film Festival and I had, Nandita and I both had gone for the screening and uh, in the audience uh, there was these women from South Hall Black Sisters the social organization which had handled the case of Kiranjit Aluwalia. So after the screening, they came to me and they were very touched by the film and they presented me this book called Circle of Light, uh, on which is Kiranjit's story, and uh, said, uh, read it and see if you would like to make a film on this. 